Hi, I'm Leon Grizzard in Austin, Texas, here to talk to you about Milk Cow Blues by Kokomo Taylor. It's been done by many artists over the years, and a lot of people do it as just another 12-bar blues. It has a kind of special place in the Western swing world, however, I think it's the number one blues done in Western swing style, and because of the influence of Bob Wills and uh, related bands, there are a series of arrangement elements that are associated with the tune. These are not universal or anything like that. I don't, there's not even universal agreement on how the chord progression ought to exactly be played. That is, whether you go to the quick four in the second measure or not. But if you hear enough Western Swing versions of this tune, I promise you, you're going to hear the things that I'm going to show you here. Um, there's a live version of George Strait doing the tune that I think has all of the elements that I'm going to show you in this little series. There's some things I'm not going to show you. There's a pedal steel or there's a steel guitar volume pedal lead that doesn't translate uh, well to uh, the guitar and there's some uh, twin fiddle stuff with sustained notes that I don't think translate well. But I'm going to show you the things that I think you can do on the guitar and I'm imagining this will be for uh, bands that have a single guitar player um, and if you incorporate these things into your version of Milk Cow Blues I promise you're going to have a, uh, a polished arrangement of it. Here's an overview of what we're going to look at in this, uh, this series. We're going to start off talking about the chord progression itself. It's a 12 bar blues but as you know there's different ways you can play 12 bar blues in terms of whether or not you go to the quick four and the second measure and so forth and I'm going to tell you my opinions on the proper way to play Milk Cow. Uh, we'll look at a couple of different chord styles that uh, you could play on Milk Cow starting off with the playing of Freddie Green of the Count Basie Orchestra uh, a particular style of chords that I personally favor and they go <laughs> Then we'll look at the playing of Eldon Shamblin, uh, a much more moving and complex style. We'll, we're doing it in A. And so on. Um, then we'll look at the introductory verse, the instrumental introductory verse to Milk Cow, and we'll look at a couple of ways to play it. We'll look at it in kind of the middle range of the guitar. After that, we'll look at that same type of thing, played a octave higher. Oftentimes in Milk Cow on one of the verses is a uh, verse, or sometimes more than one, where the band will play a section riff, swing era section type riff. If you're a single guitar player, you can get a good approximation of that type of thing uh, by yourself. Um, <laughs> so on. There is a famous twin guitar lead in uh, Milk Cow and you hear the same thing in Milk Cow and some other tunes as well and so you can play that all on one guitar and we're going to take a look at that. Mm -hmm. um, and so on. And finally, we're going to look, uh, there is a stops verse at the very end. I've tried everything, baby, to get along with you. We're going to look at that verse, and there is a particular tag uh, on that verse, and that tags the song that goes, um, and we're going to look at how to play that. 
And so that's sort of a uh, overview of what I'm going to try to show you during this little uh, series, and I hope you enjoy it. Milk Cow Blues is just a regular 12-bar blues, and in some ways it is an old-fashioned or simple way of playing the 12-bar blues because most people don't go to the 4 chord in the second measure, don't do that quick 4 like uh, a lot of blues tunes go. Milk Cow, the way most people play it, doesn't do that. It's four measures of the 1 chord before you go to the four chord. Uh, another simple thing about milk cow is that when you get to the ninth measure when you're on the five chord D you don't go down to the C chord before coming back home to uh, the one chord, the G. And so the first verse of milk cow, sort of the default way to play it, would be like this. Well I woke up this morning Look outdoors, I can tell my little milk cow, I can tell by the way she lows, if you see my milk cow, please drive her on home. I ain't had no milk or butter since my little cow's been gone. If people are playing that just staying on the five chord and not going down to the four chord on the way back home to the one chord. Sometimes they will break up that long duration of the four chord by five chord, excuse me, by taking it up a measure, a fret, and back down. I ain't had no milk or butter since my little cow's been gone. One, four, one. So that's sort of the default way most people play it. There is one verse, however, where almost everyone does go to the four chord in the second measure, and that is on the verse that goes, Ceylon, Ceylon, little girl, Ceylon. And so that one goes, Ceylon, Ceylon, little child, Ceylon. Ceylon, Ceylon, little child, Ceylon. right on a sailing. And so in one of the verses, oftentimes that one, but sometimes somewhere else, uh, not all the way through, people will put in the back part of that Stormy Monday turnaround, you know, Stormy Monday. What people will do is put in the uh, B minor 7th, B flat minor 7th, and then the D 7th there. Uh, so when you get, after you've played the 4 chord, Sail on, sail on, little child, sail on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The other uh, deviation from standard 12 bar form occurs in the final verse, which is a stops verse. And on that, you play the, uh, you stop on the one chord, G, for eight measures before you go to the, uh, to the four chord. And so that final verse, and we'll look at the chords that you play a little later on, on the little tag thing. But it goes, well, I tried everything, baby, to get along with you. And now I'm going to tell you just what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop my crying, going to leave you alone. And if you don't think I'm leaving, you can count the days I'm gone. You won't see, you won't see my sweet face no more. You're going to be some wondering, where in this world have I gone home? 